One time, I was meditating, and I kept coming up with things I needed to remember when I was done. I couldn't forget about them and meditate properly because they were actually kind of important. My car needs an oil change. If I lose that, my car could break down. Joan from work gave me an Afghan blanket, and I need to remember to thank her. Otherwise, I'm a jag off. In trying to put away my day-to-day -day concerns, I ended up a bit more useful than what I'm usually capable of. This must be how mental focus works. Ooh, I know. I'll just keep a sheet of paper in front of me when I sit, and every time I have a persistent, nagging thought, I'll just write it down. Why has no one thought of this before, LOL? Sure enough, once the offending idea was given life on the page, it left me in peace, content that it was deemed at least important enough to address later. Although thought purging was effective for short bursts, unfortunately, this activity was no longer meditation. I was now sitting on the floor making a to-do list with my eyes closed, which is a form of procrastination and a less direct version of a recognized waste of time. Meditation facilitates a flow state wherein I excel at pointless busy work. When I want to work, my body mind wants to sit and do nothing. When I want to sit and do nothing, the idea faucet busts and it all comes pouring out. It's kind of bullshit. It's also kind of the second noble truth that your brain hates you and doesn't want what's best. Inadvertently, this practice did result in significant insight. Looking back at my page, different sized words and drawings and jokes and bullet points littered both sides of the blank white page. I realized that I'm looking at a reflection. This is my mind. I have sketched a self-portrait of the beta brainwave state. I no longer wonder why we can't be forced to realize the simple feeling of being. I have to keep all this in mind all the time. Never forget, or there will be consequences. This is why the religions stress a lifestyle of humble simplicity. But you and I, we're not allowed to do that. We're too cool, too complicated. We have to constantly check and monitor or nobody will like us. We can't forget our medical checkups, our email inboxes, our bills. We can't forget what's going on at work. You can't forget everyone's birthday. I can't just drop the premise for my next you YouTube video, and there's no guarantee of your safety even if you are some kind of genius who manages to hold it all together your whole life. In fact, that's the first noble truth. You're fucked anyway. My job is to hold together a cloud of dust in the shape of meaning and purpose. I tackle one to-do and two more grow up in its place. I am locked into priority hell, dutifully focused on things that get me nowhere, holding my head above water, forcing people to like me and care that I exist and think that I'm good at anything for as long as I can as I grow weaker and wearier and increasingly cynical and jaded and unattractive. And so I understand why you crawl into a cold cave and embrace the darkness and silence, but that feels like a step backward to me. I'm interested in the novelty of time. I want the gift of a postmodern life. A lot of work has gone into providing this for me. I believe that your energy and time and personality and all that you've done yet still serves a purpose, as does the chirping of frogs and the buzzing of flies, and it is neither the purpose of temporary futile self-gratification nor is it just to escape from life into eternity. That will happen either way. We're not here to wake up and get off the wheel any more than we are here to reproduce and avoid suffering. Emptiness is dharma, and form is dharma. They are one. You are neither an enemy nor obstacle to realization. It became clear to me that I'm not present for meditation, and I'm not present for anything else. I'm never really interested in doing what I'm actually doing. Zazen is important, but you have to start doing everything else like meditation too. This is what mindfulness actually means. It means that whatever you're doing, that's it. Be present in your environment with the people and creatures around you and do what you're doing. If you aren't in that habit, then it's no wonder that you can't find it while sitting. You might as well get up and start knocking those things off your to-do list for all it's worth. Are you out of control because that's your innate character? Because it's an unquestioned habit? Because you believe it to be comfortable? Because you're afraid not to? Or what? Can you simply watch this video? Can you simply read a book? Drive a car? Carry water? Chop wood? Swing your partner? do si -do. Be a scientist? See what happens? Namaste, my friends, and may you find blessedness and gratitude and good health.
Thank you for the 75 subscribers. I'm very, very grateful to you all. Push the buttons that make me appear in search results. 